Hey guys, I currently have a video uploading, finally. Um, it's an actual thrift haul, uh, trying on some new clothes because none of my clothes fit me anymore. I mean, this is new, so it fits, but none of my clothes fit. So I had to, you know, I had to do shopping, get a whole new wardrobe, which is fun. Um, but I just wanted to update you something and let you know how crappy I've been feeling since I ate the cream cheese. And silly old me thought that it was only gonna last a few days and as with the, um, what do you call it? The accidental coffee that I ingested. Well, not accidental, I took it purposely because it was with the ibuprofen and I wasn't feeling well. Um, but then the yogurt, uh, that incident lasted about a week, right? And I expected the cream cheese for one reason or another to last a few days, three, four days. But the cream cheese apparently has only now, only now am I feeling better again. Only now do I feel back to baseline, back to baseline carnivore, like the baseline carnivore zen feeling. I, and as you guys can see, I cannot hide mental illness. Like I withdraw, that is what I do. I withdraw, I isolate, I can't upload pictures. I can't upload videos. I can't do anything because I withdraw. So now that I'm back, I had to do a three day, well, a two and a half day fast. Um, I started a 72 hour fast because I knew that I needed to do a gut reset because it's like the, the dark feeling was just wasn't going anywhere. And I kept eating meat, I kept eating meat and nothing was, it wasn't doing me anything. So I said, okay, it's time to fast. I, I fasted and I woke up yesterday feeling great, but I woke up today after, this is my day three of fasting. I woke up today feeling amazing. I have had a meal already. I am doing a, what I eat in a day. Um, I'm uploading that along with the thrift um, haul that I did at the uh, shop around the corner. So um, yeah, it's, it's such a sensitive gut I have and I'm so happy. Like the whole time that I was feeling dark, the whole time I was feeling depressed, some that that reminder the carnivore zen was inside me saying you're gonna feel okay again you're, everything's gonna be okay it's, it's not gonna last long look how long it took the first time you started carnivore for you to feel great for the anxiety to go for the depression to go it's only a matter of time before you're gonna feel good again and uh, another part of me was trying to not believe it another part of me was trying to say nah that's it, it we're done for basically I, and i everything came back everything came back and i'm so glad that i've woken up today after my two and a half day fast i've stopped it now i, I stopped at 60 hours um, instead of 72 because i felt my body getting a little bit weak but i also felt refreshed i also felt like i did a great reset guys i will i don't care what any of you say any of you i'm not touching dairy ever again in my entire life i kept taking the little advice here and there from people saying oh you know you can reintroduce things like slowly dairy um isn't that bad i mean not everyone said it a lot of people really talk down on dairy and say dairy is shit and it is shit but um there are people that say just try and add a little bit you know just a little bit just a little bit so i i had a little bit of dairy i had a little bit of cream cheese and oh my god it's like a whole i don't even know how long that lasted i think that was like a two weeks I think that was like two weeks, maybe a week and a half. I don't know. I know the last time I posted a video was like a week ago and I wasn't even really 100% feeling my greatest. I was still kind of getting over cravings, cravings. Um, and I know, I know, I know the, the cream cheese had something to do with those cravings too. Like now I'm not craving anything. Now that I've done a, a fast reset, um, I stopped craving. Um, it was just the feelings that I was left with now. So the cravings went uh, a couple of days after. Um, I last complained about having cravings, but the feelings, the depression, the anxiety, the borderline, all full blown. Um, and I had to really keep myself to myself to stop from affecting my environment. But because I now know what mental health feels like, I'm more easily able to adapt in my environment when things aren't going well. But yeah, guys, I am finally back. And yes, I have a new phone, although I don't really, I don't prefer this camera to my old Revel T-Mobile, but I know that's because this one picks up like every single one of my flaws. But my skin is still wonderfully, you know, amazing and great. And I'm very proud of it and happy with it. It just doesn't look the same as my my Samson Revel um, 
T-Mobile, but it's real. This is how I really look. Like, I, I, I was looking at those videos like, you don't look like that all the time. Sometimes I do, but not all the time. Those videos, they look quite pristine. And I, this is me. This is how I look. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm currently uh, uploading the video now. So that there's um, lots of footage of today, of my day today, of what I've done and stuff. And currently coming up with a bunch of ideas of um, what I can do for in terms of, you know, videos for YouTube and stuff. And I'm actually going to be starting a podcast very very soon um i'm just kind of getting the message out there and letting people know and kind of finding more people that are going through the same um not particularly borderline but going through mental health issues that have actually helped heal themselves and now are in a process of healing on this journey so i'm going to be doing interviews with people specifically um only to do with mental health and how it how carnivore and how keto has helped so i'm really looking forward to doing that i'm looking forward to so much and now that i've been in that dark place again and i i got anxious again i got nervous again i got depressed again and i realized that i couldn't do anything in that space it's like i died and came back to life again and now i'm just ready to just take the world on because i know how much i've held myself back and how much i've been held back in my past and no more no mass no mass i'm done I'm, gonna, I'm letting myself all out there. I'm being my, you know, I don't care how if I look stupid. I don't care if I look ugly. I'm just, I'm making sure that I, I grab hold onto the balls of every opportunity that this life has to offer me now because, oh, that place is disgusting. That place where your mind is telling you that you are a piece of shit, where you don't deserve to be happy. You don't deserve to for anybody to look at you and love you and just... I, that's a whole video in itself it's so it's so fucked up and i don't know what kind of demon food is that it, it does all of that stuff to the gut to make the that whole it's crazy it's crazy anyway um yeah watch out for my video coming up in a few minutes well at the end of the day or in the morning because um i still have we still haven't had our last meals yet so yeah just updating you guys um on what happened and I can't even explain myself when I'm in that state so it's not like I can just come and make a YouTube video and then because I would have just ended up in tears crying my eyes out looking like a fucking typical you know crazy ass borderline I'm allowed to say that because I am one um but it, it would have been bad if I would have let all of my emotions out on camera so and I'm not yeah no no that's that's not what we're doing here I'm trying to you know give you guys um the reality the whole reality but at the same time i don't want to be crying my eyes out on camera spreading all that negative energy um when i know that i'm gonna be okay again and i'm gonna be able to talk about it with um you know with wisdom and intelligence and not coming from a space of hurt and feeling crazy so yeah um be back with another video soon guys uh take care thank you for over 1000 subscribers I'm so happy. I'm so amazed. Now I need 1,000 hours and then I'm on my way to being monetized. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I really want to be a carnivore full time. <laughs> so every um, support, when I say full time, I'm actually studying. Um, I want to study to be a nutritional like I want to give nutritional advice and I want to be able to help people on a professional level not just you know make videos and just talk out my ass I actually want to know what I'm talking about so yeah um thank you for all the support it really does help so yeah